Commander Fillion, this is Dr. Weaver at NASA Ground Control. Ground Control to Commander Fillion, do you read me? I read you loud and clear, Dr. Weaver. Excellent. How's the weather on Mars today? Weaver, you see my dogs? We know there's no weather under the dome. I hate to praise my own design, but we do have a nice dome. Even if people around Mars are calling us the bench warmer Mars colony, the BT Mars colony. There's a lot of mean sports analogies going around. Oh, don't listen to them. They made such a big deal over their first one with their trained scientists. But if humanity goes to live on the majestic red planet, who is humanity? Not scientists, but normal people, common folk. And it's my mission to prove that anyone can sustain themselves on Mars. And I've decided that your mission as their astronaut guide will be to help these people grow the very first eggplant Space. An eggplant? Somebody already did zucchini. This is madness, Doc. Can we even get any parmesan up here? I promise I will devise you some type of parmesan as soon as this colony produces an eggplant for Mars. I guess even regular people can't mess up growing an eggplant too badly. That's the spirit. I can herd this flock of gullible sheep wherever I want them to go. What's that? I mean, I can't wait to lead this flock of regular does. You know, I was a little sad that NASA wouldn't let me go to Mars and run the colony myself. You think I'm a dreamer, a crackpot. But if it wasn't to be me, I'm glad it's you. I know you'll take care of things. And please remind everyone that we can send them any of the comforts of home that they want in the show. Would you? Favorite snacks, music, anything like that? Sure, I'll tell them. But don't expect them to thank you. They just like to complain. Really? You didn't note any complaints in the captain's log. Oh, I like to attend them personally. I have it under control. Are they listening to you? I'm the commander. Of course they are. Okay. Well, all the same, I'm interested to have the colonists start making their reports to NASA themselves in this next phase of the experiment. Right. And about that, you know, you might hear some stuff. What kind of stuff? Uh, mostly about how great it's going. Oh, sorry, hold on. There's a Martin Dust Room coming. Gotta go. Don't worry. There's no weather on the dome. Sorry, can't hear you. Whoa, the wind. Oh, no. What wind? How is there wind? I don't know. I'll go find out. Bye. How peculiar. Ground control to Mars, NASA to Mars. Colin is Sam, do you read me? Yes, I read you. This is Sam. We're all excited for your report today. You received the instruction from NASA to construct the irrigation device to water the eggplant. Yeah, well, I already finished it. Well, this is very impressive. A flux of alkalizer is very complex. Were you some kind of engineer on Earth? Nah, I'm in sales. I fixed our solar stream once. You know, the NASA guys who are working on the other colony were saying we couldn't do it all. Ridiculous! This will show Philip, who's working on the junior varsity Mars colony. Is that what they call us? The important thing is the flux of plocalizer. You got all the step-by-step -step instruction packet, right? The ones that look like this? Yeah, you sure sent a lot of them, but no big deal. Oh, okay. And there were the diagrams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. These even look daunting to me. Run into any questions with these? Absolutely none. I was surprised. It was incredibly easy. Excellent. Wow. All right. Well, show me what you came up with. Okay. Just be aware that as I was going, 
and made a couple of modifications that I think will really improve the design. But here she is. Wow. Okay. Wow. I know, right? Uh, Sam, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I did draw the flames on the side myself. Sam, is that tape? I mean, it's much better than having to tighten all those little screws, right? Did you look up the instructions at all? The ones I found online were a lot shorter. I don't think that's a good idea. Wow, I guess you just know everything with the big instructions. I would suggest caution with, with any design that wasn't tested extensively in a lab. Ooh, fancy lab, Mr. Fancy. Mine works, and that's all I know. That thing actually produced water? You tell me, buddy. I will tell you. It did not. It's probably better than water. No, I'm sure it's, uh, it's great, but seriously, Sam, I wouldn't drink that. Don't tell me what things to drink. I'm sure it's a really great machine, but... uh, I'll tell you what I know. It smells like Dr. Pepper. I've invented unlimited Dr. Pepper. I don't think that's the color Dr. Pepper is supposed to be. Why don't you send it on the shadow down to the lab and we can let you know. You know, you're really getting very defensive when I'm not dependent on you and your lab. I just don't think you should drink whatever liquid comes out of the box you built from diagrams you found on the internet. Isn't this America? Don't I have the right? I'm in America. You are on Mars. Please do not drink whatever that is. I'm thinking it's probably like water, but without all the toxins. And I'm going to be a multi-billionaire. Water doesn't... What do you think a toxin is? Look, you have your opinion and I'll have mine. Can we have a civilized disagreement? The definition of a word isn't an opinion. That's your opinion. No, wait. Nobody telling me what to do. Sam, no! No! NASA to Mars, NASA to Mars, do you read me? Colonist Karen, is that you? Am I Karen? Am I Karen? I'm just confirming that this is your report. This obviously is my report, but I'm not going to be giving it to you. Not if so... you don't know that I'm Karen. So you would prefer not to give a report today? No, I'm not. Nothing's working. What do you mean? Is something broken down, Karen? The entire system here has just gone bananas. Wait, Karen, which system? This is very important. Is it one of the life support systems? Has the dome been breached? It's like I'm talking to myself here. What code is it displaying? Has anyone there done a manual override? Just try and get one of those bozos to lift a finger, and no, sir. Karen, please, I'm begging you. You may have only minutes of oxygen left. Is this an issue with any of the essential systems? I don't know about how you people do things over there, but I consider customer service essential. You're not a customer, Karen. I know you sure as heck aren't treating me like one. I think I just saw my whole life pass before my eyes. Does that life of yours include the ability to give refunds? NASA is actually paying you. That's what I thought you'd say. And that's why I'd like to speak to your manager. The manager? Yes, I'd like to speak to the manager. I'm kind of the manager of aerospace engineering here at NASA. Well, I don't need my aerospace engineered. I need someone to who can take care of this problem. I specifically requested some bunions and they never arrived. What do you mean they never arrived? If the shuttle didn't get there, we would know. They must have delivered it to another planet or something. That's literally impossible. And another thing, the air is really dry up here, and as someone who prefers soggy humidity, I think the least you can do is give me the upgrade. You would like an upgrade of Mars? I think it's only right. So you would like to speak to the manager of Mars? I plan on posting an extremely detailed Yelp review of this entire experience. Yeah, you know what? I'll put him on right now. He's definitely real. Finally. I'm totally not hanging up. I'm giving you the manager. What is your full name? So I can get you fired? 
Just stay on the line no matter how long it takes. This is simply unacceptable. NASA, do you read me? Do you read me, NASA? Loud and clear. This is Charlie from Mars. Thank you very much for allowing me to call you today. Of course. I was just surprised to hear from you. We weren't expecting your report until tomorrow. I thought perhaps it would be wise to speak to you now, as I am in what I suppose you might call a predicament. I am filled with intense rage all the time. Oh, that sounds unpleasant. And I fear that my sanity is beginning to fray. Now, Charlie, let's remain calm. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Are you on edge because of the vastness of the great void of the universe? Sort of. It's a crumbling of the will, a slow unraveling. Is it the isolation from the rest of humanity? Yes, 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 with only us and the dishes in the sink for three days that she doesn't even have the decency to rinse. Now, I don't want you to panic, but I think it might be space madness. No, it's definitely in my roommate. What? Even if humanity is far away on Earth, we are still human beings, aren't we? And we owe each other whatever is left of civilization, don't we? We cannot put another human being in a place where they accidentally touch a piece of squishy pasta in the sink. We cannot. We cannot. So you're having a problem with the colonist you're sharing your living pod with? She was oh, fine all through training on Earth, but this place has made her something else. Something pitiless, something evil. Look, I know this sort of thing can be very frustrating. When you ask her to do the dishes, she just said no? I mean, I definitely implied that I was not happy. I looked at the sink, I sighed really loudly. <sighs> Nothing. This is not space madness. This is being passive aggressive. I don't want to seem too bossy. We're trying to run a Mars colony here. Ask her to do the dishes. I was thinking of throwing us both out the airlock. That's murder. Ask her to do the dishes, Charlie. I guess. I just don't want to make it weird, you know? It's already weird, Charlie. Well, she eats some of my Oreos, and I suggest that she request her own Oreos. And she's like, my Oreos never arrived, so what am I supposed to do? And I think I'm going to have to resort to something extreme. Charlie. What are you saying? I'm gonna have to leave her a note on a post-it. I've got to tell you, Commander, I'm a little concerned about morale among the colonists. What are you so worried about? We're having a great time doing experiments, processing data, or even taking turns using the squeegee on the dome. What like vacation? Well, they don't seem to be getting along at all. They're not talking to each other. There's not even any work being done towards growing the eggplant. That's what I said, and they just won't listen. Now it looks like some of the deliveries from the shuttle aren't making it to them. What are they talking about? It's impossible. I'll look into it, but you know. People will always find something to complain about. I guess that's true. Especially regular people, not astronauts, I mean. They started a softball league. What do you do with people like that? To be honest, the morale of my team at NASA is getting pretty low, too. I guess I just hoped I could give everyone a good experience. You know what was a great experience? We had a colony council meeting last night, and we voted on a new name for the colony. Ah, how wonderful democracy at work. Tell me, what did you come up with? After a long and contentious debate, we landed on, drumroll please, New New Jersey! Oh, that's... Wow. Jersey, everyone.
one's really happy with it. Great, great. As long as all of you are happy, I'm happy for you guys. For whatever it is you choose, for whatever reason. It's a great name. Okay, well, I've got to get back to my, uh, my, my data. Don't worry about a thing, Doc. It's all under control. NASA, ground control to Jeff. NASA, ground control to Jeff. Do you read me? Yes, I read you. Let's go ahead and get your report. So you mentioned that you were going to try some of the experiments on Martian soil so that we could begin growing an eggplant. Oh, did you still want that? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Oh no, no, it's happening. It's happening again. Are you okay? Oh, sorry, reflex. A couple of days ago, Charlie, who shares my learning pod, developed an allergy, I guess, to headphones, and I guess he only likes one song. One incredibly catchy song. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I thought we weren't doing that plant anymore, but I think I did something else that's gonna be pretty... <sighs> you seem distracted. You wanna ask her to turn it down? Hey! Buddy, could you just like, give us a sec with the music? It's NASA on the phone. Thanks, Rumi. Please, for the love of Pete, leave it off. I'm begging you. Okay, so I haven't really done any experiments or slept in four days, but what I did do is this. That is some cup. I call it Castle Cuffington. Okay, Jess. Jess, may I ask why you made a big tower of cups rather than complete the scientific research requested by NASA? Well, first of all, I mean, look at it. It's awesome. Second of all, I cannot concentrate on anything but that song. It's been days. Days. I know the conditions aren't optimal, but it's really important. Is it really that hard to... To, to, look, my careers are riding on this, Jess. I need you to, uh, wow, it just keeps going, doesn't it? All I can do is stack in rhythm, stack in rhythm. Our team needs this egg. I try, I try to write down data, and I look at the paper, and I've written the lyrics. Look, yes. Do you really use any kind of echo? Right? That's what I'm saying. Hey, Charlie, still on the phone in here. Ah, I don't understand why she's doing this. We used to have like fun bonding time where we eat Oreos together, and now she's just leaving cryptic post-its everywhere. No, no. I don't know. I'm actually kind of afraid to go in the kitchen. Whenever she's in there with me, she just keeps jerking her head towards the sink inside. It could be space madness. That's what I thought too. I mean, I haven't even been able to do my dishes. Wait, I think. I think. Before the song started, I think there's some. I mean, early. I mean, kapow. No. I think we need to do for weird post its. Really? But maybe your only shot. I don't know, but I'm willing to try anything. Wait, before you go, NASA has one more thing to ask of you, Jess. Yes? Please knock over the cup tower. I think it'll look really cool. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> NASA to Mars, NASA to Mars, Quint. Do you read me? I read you, and I read your aura, which is burnished with purple today. Um, okay, well, I guess I better take your report. How are you feeling? I'm enjoying a marvelous clarity, Doctor. And yourself? Oh, thank you for asking. I'm, I'm a little tired, but it's nice to hear that someone is actually enjoying the experience on the colony. I'm really just trying to live in the moment, you know? 
really appreciate what an extraordinary opportunity this is. Yes, that's exactly what I've been trying to tell the others. I knew a motivation must be to be a good addition to the group. The opportunity to be here on beautiful Mars. It's incredible, isn't it? The opportunity to grow this community from seed to a mighty redwood tree. Yes, thank you. The opportunity to really grow my side business. Selling awareness vitamins. What? Awareness vitamins, they're vitamins for awareness. Well, they're regular vitamins. I put in a cool jar. And you've been selling to other people? Well, trying to. I've only gotten three people so far. You absolutely cannot do that. Oh, do you not approve of awareness? No, I don't approve of you selling people fake nonsense coming on my space mission. NASA can get in trouble. Did you wanna cut? No, I want, I want, I don't know what I want, except that I never want you to do that ever again. It's incredibly unethical. Of course I won't. I'm out of vitamins. I actually used some Tadexes instead, but I don't think they were ever delivered. I keep telling you people that's not possible. Did I do something wrong in some other life? Am I being punished or something? I'm just looking to multiply my income streams. I thought you were spiritual or mindful or hippie or something. Well, on Earth, I was a motivational speaker slash life coach slash yoga teacher. But my dream was always to start a side business selling whatever. Three people bought this from you. How? Why? They're in space. They don't have money. You can't buy anything. Well, Charlie actually traded me her emergency oxygen tank. What? Why? I'm getting some dark energy in your aura right now. Yeah, you're out of business for good. Did you want me to give Charlie her oxygen tank back? <laughs> Okie dokie. You know, if you're really stressed, you should try yoga. It helps you let go of the material things. I think I better let go of this call. Robin, do you need me? Come in, Robin. Who might this be? You know that it's NASA. And who did you hope to speak with? I'm just saying from the sheet. It's Robin Jones. Nobody here by that name. Robin, I'm the foremost expert in my field in aerospace engineering. I'm not going to say the, I'm not say the thing that you want me to say. My name is Therese Malamar. Yeah, that. Look, I said that I wanted to start wearing an eye patch, and you said no. I don't want you running around. There is no depth of perception. I said that while in space, I would prefer to be employed as a bounty hunter. And you said no to that, too. Nobody read the information packets, did they? So the least you can do, doctor, is call me by my space name. You know what? Fine. Why is it face Malamar again? The last name of Starbuck and Battlestar Galactica plus a delicious cookie that sounds like Star Wars. I've been thinking about Malamars a lot, by the way. The box I requested never arrived. Could you check on that? I keep telling people it's impossible for the snacks to just not arrive. Seems like you ought to put a bounty hunter on the case, no? No, okay. Look, Rob, I mean, Thrace, Mr. Malamar. Here's the thing, it's costing several million dollars for you to be on Mars. I really need to show NASA something. I need that eggplant. Well, I'm sorry but I really can't work with these people. What's the problem? Well, first of all, they're all from Earth. Where else would they be from? All I'm saying is that if I wanted to meet people from Earth, I'd have just stayed home and tried to flirt with everyone at GameStop again. Oh boy. I mean, is it so much? 
to ask for one attractive alien with like slightly different ears or something? Look, we all want to learn Star Trek as kids hoping for alien spouses. I know that's why I work for NASA. Well, too bad you guys haven't found any other life on other planets. Well, actually, I mean, no, of course not. Too bad. That's disappointing. I know, buddy. So do you think you can try to work with some of the other colonists? But none of them are even robots. Well, the Mars rover is kind of a robot. But it doesn't make woody commentary. Neither do you, Robin. Have you ever thought about that? Listen, you're alone. Everyone else makes this an epic space opera. You're living it. You're the second calling to ever be on Mars. It's the adventure of a lifetime. I mean, I guess. But how can I have the adventure of a lifetime in a place we apparently have to call New New Jersey? You know what this is really all about? How could they? They could have, we could have called it so many cool things and that's what they went with. Robin, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I actually agree with you. You do? Literally anything else. I guess I didn't think there would be so much collecting data in my adventures. Me neither, buddy. Me neither. Okay, I guess I'd better make the best of it. Thanks for talking me down, man. That was really nice of you. Okay. You okay? Sure. Don't worry about me. Okay, Robin. Yeah? What if I told you that one of your fellow colonists is actually a robot who needs your help? Yes! I knew it! Is it Terminator? Is it Karen? That's for you to find out. Just play it cool, grow an eggplant with them, and all of us will complete our mission. Okay, okay, okay. It's Charlie, right? No, it's probably Karen. Goodbye, Thrace Malamar, and good luck. Mars to ground control, Mars to ground control. Do you read me? What is it, Charlie? Did you finally throw Jess out the airlock? It's me. Charlie, from Mars. Yes, I know. What new nightmare have you devised for me to deal with? Look, so first of all, I'd like to apologize for Dance Monkey. I suppose that's really more Tones and I's job, Charlie, but I appreciate it all the same. Second of all, Quinn gave me back my extra oxygen, so you don't have to worry. Literally the least she can do, but okay. Third of all, I believe this time I am truly in the grip of space madness. Oh, good. What ridiculous thing are you about to say? It's because of the eggplants. What about them? There are no eggplants. I've been begging you people to grow me just one eggplant, and you won't. I assume it's because you hate me or you just don't care. See, that's what Jess said. She came in with a stack of the post-it notes that I left around the house, and we started talking. That's kind of nice. I know, but she said that you said we are supposed to grow eggplants. How many times do I have to? Well, the commander told me he's definitely allergic to eggplants. What? It's literally the only time he's ever spoken to me. I asked him if we should grow anything else, and he said, leave that stuff to the astronauts. Unless I imagined it. Is it the void? Is it the vastness? Is has the space madness taken hold? On the contrary, this is the most sense things have made in a long time. Thanks, Charlie. you read me? This is anonymous. This is an anonymous caller. Hi, Karen. It's not Karen. It's, it's a different... Karen, this is your camera. I know it's you. What's going on? I'm not going to get in any trouble, am I? <laughs> That's kind of amazing, since clearly you enjoy getting other people in trouble. Here's the thing, though, Doc. I've been thinking. I've been thinking a lot. All my life. Oh, my life. I've asked to speak to the manager if I felt I wasn't getting what I wanted. I liked it. And I was very good at it. But something's really fishy around. I mean, very fishy. And I said to myself, Karen, what if you spoke to the manager of this colony about things that affected other people? besides you. Oh, jeez, poor Commander Fillion. 
Sorry, buddy. I think in this situation, the manager is you. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Look, Karen, everyone here at NASA has been taking your concerns very seriously. You didn't name the colony in New, New Jersey. What? What do you mean? It's a terrible name and everyone hates it. Well, I mean, someone must have liked it if that's what you all voted for. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Commander Fillion really counted the votes. For some reason, that nerdy guy, really, Robin, really wanted to be my friend all of a sudden. Ah, uh, yes. But he kept talking to me, and when he mentioned New New Jersey, we realized neither of us voted for it. My vote was for Costco, after my favorite place on Earth. His was for Moisture Farm, which I think is actually worse. Hmm, well, um, okay, I'm glad the two of you are working together, uh, but what are you saying? I'm saying you should keep an eye on Commander Fillion. Something's not right. Well, let's not jump to conclusions, Karen. Oh, I'm jumping, am I? Huh? You're an authority on jumping now? Well, let's see what your manager th- oh, No, pardon me. I'm growing as a person. Just keep that in mind. I will never hear. Bye, Karen. Hmm. Commander Fillion, this is Dr. Weaver at NASA. Do you read me? Hey, it's a dog. What's up, Doc? I read you loud and clear. Well, I'm starting to wonder if you, I've read you clearly at all. What's that supposed to mean? I've been talking to the colonists. Ugh, I'm sorry. They're the worst, right? They are the worst. And I think they're onto something. I think you know what happened to the supplies that went missing from the shuttle. Be careful now, Doctor. Are you implying what I think you're implying? I didn't imply it. I said it directly. Also, you rigged the colony's name election. How dare you? You told them not to grow eggplants. How could you say such a thing? I'm burning with righteous integrity. I'm so offended, I don't even know what I could do. I could rip this place apart. Are those Oreos? No. I mean, those are definitely Oreos. The very Oreos Charlie said she never received. I No, these are mine. I requested my own and mine arrived. I don't know what happened to Charlie's. Wait. And there, by your shoulder, those are Funyuns. Uh, no way, I can explain. I think I've seen enough. Come on, Doctor. We went through training together. We're so much better than all of them. These people are fools. They don't deserve snacks. We deserve snacks for putting up with them. Am I right? Come on, who cares? I care. I'm living my dream right now, and my job is establishing a Mars colony. And maybe it isn't exactly what I thought it would be, but I made it happen. And now we have a responsibility to these people. If they're fools, they're our fools. Why should they listen to us if we're hoarding their funyuns? Because I'm the commander and they are not. Not anymore. I've held a real vote with the colony council this time and they voted that you are fired. The shuttle will be coming home tomorrow to relieve you of your duty. Wait. And you're going to have a lot of explaining to do when you get back to NASA. Jersey is a great name. Admit it. Just admit it. Goodbye, Commander. Admit it. Ground control to Mars. Ground control to Mars. Can you read me? I read you, NASA, loud and clear. How's the weather up there, Doc? Aw, there's no weather under the dome, you old so-and-so. It's a perfectly controlled atmosphere of my own design. I know, just joshing. But really, how's it going? Just every time I think that they really voted for me to be the new commander of the colony, I get really emotional. I just love space so much. Please don't start crying again, Dr. Weaver. It's just really, I mean, it means everything. And I live on Mars and okay. Karen was right that the air was very dry. It is so majestic. So anyway, 
Did you guys ever pick a new name for the colony? You know what? We voted again, and we decided to stick with New New Jersey. Wait, really? After all that? It kind of grows on you after a while if you stick with it, like dance, Mikey. Um, speaking of growing things, how about that famous eggplant of yours? Um, well, the really important thing we're growing here is a new way of life, a community, a civilization. No luck? Uh, it turns out growing eggplants here is surprisingly difficult, but space is the final frontier. And tomorrow? Why? Tomorrow, we'll try our hands at Green Bean. <laughs> Thank you.